Hello guys, welcome to Let's Talk Diesel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the chassis. You know, your truck chassis. And we're gonna use as example, these Volvo chassis that you're looking at right now. Uh, we're gonna have a general view, what is the chassis about. Okay, first, you see the main components of your chassis are this 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 rail this is one and this is the other one you no know, side to side and we're gonna count how many cross members uh, your truck might have oh well, it could have more than this one because this is a chassis for a Volvo 2015 and as you can see it has no cab so it would be easier for us, you know, to check it out. So the first uh, cross member that you will see in this Volvo chassis goes from here to here. Yeah, it's like a plate that covers around the radiator. This is the first one, all right? The next one, it's this cross member that you see that goes from here here all right and if you want to replace this cross member okay you will have to change all the whole part in here you cannot replace just this part or this one you have to replace all together right okay this is the second cross member and as you can see it holds the front engine mount all right now we're gonna check it out where is the second cross member and you will see this one in here is the other cross member right uh, called uh, this one it's in here because on this part uh, right now you can see the engine mounts are in here the rear engine mounts okay there's one in here and the other one is over there can see it all right uh, let me do a little stop in here uh, you can see here is the rear part of the engine when the cap is on it's really uh, hard to work on the back of the engine as many of the technicians that see my videos know when you have to work behind the engine head they have a lot of headache for example if you see here this line here this is the seven injector line okay and it comes from the I don't know if you will not be able to see it you see the the little part over there with the blue line okay the that's the uh, doser block and the line goes way behind the compressor goes in here you can see there is a union over there and goes around the around all here to the other side so to replace just this part it will take you a while because you have to remove both sides of the uh, splash shields and it takes time so uh, I want you to let know owner operators that this kind of jobs takes time so be patient with that all right so now let's continue what else is around our chassis you can see this is one of the uh, cap mounts there's one on this side and the other one it's over there you can see it okay you see it holds the batteries you see it? all these bolts over there Okay. That's the. Well, we already got the second uh, cross member. Now we we'll see the third one in here. See, from here to here. All right. And it holds, you know, the airlines. You know, this one, few of them goes to the airbags on the back. Other ones for other uh, accessories. We have on this side the fuel lines. Usually. Uh, 
Uh, Bold Boss usually comes with this design, even the newest ones. Bo uh, Freightliners used to have it on the top of the transmission, but they don't do that anymore. They use this design as well. But you can see was holding in the third member. Now we have the fourth member in here. You can see there. Okay. By the way, new cab. You know, you cab. Uh, the other cab uh, mounts goes in here. The one that holds the airbags is one in here, and the other one over there. Okay. And as you can see, uh, the four cross member that we have here holds the. Uh, some people call it center bearing, and other call it, call it the carrier bearing. As DOT call it is the carrier bearing. You can see all the two bolts over there for the bearing there, and that's what it holds this cross member. The next one, the fifth cross member that you see in here, okay, holds the quick release valve, uh, the parking valve. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have other couple valves, couple bolts holding here on the side. You can see there, uh, focus, okay. We have the torque arm in here. We have two, one for the uh, this axle and the other one, let me move this. And the other one for the, the, the third axle. And we have a, uh, uh, we have the six crux member in here, the sixth one. You can see, and it holds usually the ABS valve, as you can see here. Okay. And we have the last one, the seventh uh, cross member that holds your tail lights. You see in here. And I want to bring something to your attention. Uh, Volvo use this kind of suspension, okay, that holds in the um, uh, the list ring here on the back. Uh, uh, Volvo is the only one right now they use this suspension. I don't know if other manufacturers does, but so far in the newest trucks, I still see only Volvo does that, and Mac. But they're you know you know they're sisters, you know brands. Okay. As you can see, these are the main cross members. If we count again, uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven in here. And the last one that goes in front of the radiator will be the A1. Uh, other couple things that you need to know, as you can see, we have a couple of hoses going around the chassis, you know, a few lines. Uh, you know, electrical harness, uh, airlines. Those are the things that goes around the chassis, and sometimes uh, 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 drivers cannot see it. Uh, you have to really dig in to find uh, one of the airlines if it's leaking air. For example, you can see where these airlines goes, right? Right now, it looks really easy to work on them, but once the cab is on it, believe me, change a fitting that goes on this area, it's hard. Oh, for, a, for example, here, on that area over here. Okay, but it can be done, it's just, it takes time. Okay, couple of things to mention. Okay, your chassis, as you can see, holds the DEF tank, APU unit, if you have one, fuel tanks, and the after treatment device over there, okay? Uh, Worth to mention if your truck has transmission fittings on top, like Volvo does, you see here and in here. You, if you cannot find any, uh, if you if your truck has an air leak and you cannot find it, you should look around here. 
sometimes we just uh, don't pay attention, but uh, if you put soapy water, you will find out those uh, garlics are here. Other things worth to mention, uh, you see, if uh, wires like uh, cables like this one, battery cables, goes right here, make sure it has the proper uh, uh, brackets holding because if this thing touch cl uh, close to the chassis, it's gonna get on fire. Okay, so as you can see, this is what your chassis is about. You see, it holds uh abstract absorbers uh cap mounts cross members and many other things and that's the reason why when you have an accident if the chassis isn't damaged it's still fixable if it is damaged uh it may be fixable maybe not okay so that will be for me today guys uh thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.